Nah, he's gonna stay in here. Never mind. <laughs> Literally called it. Called it perfectly. I come back, and that's the first thing I hear, because I suck on a woman's forehead. <laughs> Welcome to Operation Waffle Squad, the newest season of Rainbow Six, where we're shooting rounds of all sizes, both big and small. Yeah, I'm literally dying right now, yeah. Right down the hatch, holy shit, Vigil. But if you really want to shoot any kind of round you want, and maybe warm up your aim a little bit, head on down to the shooting range. One of the new things added with this season. Now that you've warmed up, we got a new map exclusively for Team Deathmatch called Close Quarter. Just make sure to watch out for the people who play it.
back. Five seconds. Here's my take so far on the on the team deathmatch map, close quarter. The map itself is fun. It's just the people who play it, they they play and this is team deathmatch in general. They play it like it's a real game. They aim at head level. They pre-aim all the time and they sit in corners. It just takes the whole fun out of no re out of there's respawning and no abilities that just takes the fun out of it for those of you who are new to the game and are having trouble figuring out how the 60 plus operators work don't worry we got some operator tips to help you out each one shows the operator's gadget how it works and as well as basic skills you'll use in games like droning and repelling on attack and reinforcing and barricading on defense. Some small yet significant changes were made to some of the Russian operators that I am definitely on board with. Glass was made into a 3 speed, making him the fastest sniper in the game right now. Bullets are better than words. You located a bomb. Combine this with its hard hitting primary and the fact that it now has access to the Fairy 9, I imagine you Glasmians are pretty happy about this. Loading new magazine. Oh god. Hiding in a corner, I see you, Jaeger. This bearing 9 treatment also went to Tachanka, which given that he has an LMG primary, SMG secondary, and a fire nade launcher, our lord is packing heat. Call me in support if you need it. I didn't have to do anything. I just gave them the godly blessing. My teammates just carried me. As someone who appreciates the lore of this game, what I'm most excited about is the new Wolfguard squad. For those of you who are thinking, are wolves endangered again? Why the hell are we guarding them? Basically, when Nighthaven left Rainbow, Harry restructured the team into four different squads, each one specializing in different types of missions. Wolfguard is a humanitarian squad which specializes in missions where collateral damage is absolutely off the table, which is why Doc is their leader and Fuse is not a part of it. Wolfguard, come in. Shit. 
30 point difference. That and you have more deaths than me, so. Most of the French operators are on Wolfguard, except for Rug, like Twitch. And with my recent switch over to the FAMAS, I've got a shock drone for spotting and finishing people, and an 810 Warthog in the palm of my hand. If you need me to slow down so you can catch up, just ask. Found Legion. Trying to kind of station. Right, oh my god. <laughs> Off the roof. Ever since this season dropped, I've just been fragging out with Monty. Maybe it's his shield, maybe it's the revolver, but this guy just refuses to die. Follow me, I'll protect you. I don't know why, but ever since this season job, I've just been fragging out with Montaigne. I don't know why. I didn't, I didn't even have Black Ice for him, that's the thing. As Rainbow's Papa Bear, or Diplomat, Castle has no problem solving disputes of both the violent and non-violent kind. Keep the comms clear. Cut the chatter. This one confused me at first, but Bandit's a part of Wolfguard because of his undercover background making him good with people. You're all very unbalanced individuals. Swapping hugs! Ying's zero casualty policy makes her a perfect fit for this team, though everyone in the objective room might have to get their eyes checked after she comes through. Ever saw the symphony of lights? I do it better. Check 
the bio container. Resume securing the container once the threat is neutralized. Op 4, last operator standing. You can find him, he's over there. Can you confirm? Op 4 eliminated. Friendly mission successful. Lion and Doc managed to stop hating each other and are now able to work closely together on the same squad. We just have to keep going. That is our only option. You have heart breaches, right? Put it down. Though she's Canadian, Frost isn't being nice this time around. With Bear Trap so intimidating, the enemy team would rather leave the game than have broken ankles. Always have a plan, and always have a backup plan for when it goes wrong. Friendly is victorious. Hostiles eliminated. In typical British fashion, Clash is cursing up a storm and shocking anyone who even looks at her funny. Oh, blimey! Words are coming out of your mouth again! What the f***? <laughs> Why do I come back and think that I hear? Can I still kind of... <laughs> I come back and that's the first thing I hear because I suck on a woman's forehead. <laughs> what the f wrong with you, Tyler? <laughs> Nomad's making an impact on Wolfguard with her air jab sending people flat on their ass or flying back, so the only thing getting near you is their bullet. Another day, another mountain. Bomb has been located. Malushi's Banshees are a good thing to have, because what's worse than being shot at is being shot at while you can barely move. That looks like it hit. Five seconds and counting. As if that makes up for it. Op 4 has located a bomb. Be ready for hostile action. Set the Banshee. Reload! 
Reloading! As Rainbow's other medic, Thunderbird's job is making sure her teammates stay alive and the enemy team stays dead. I'd like to get out of this alive. Last operator standing. Op 4 has deployed a diffuser. You need to destroy it. And last, but certainly not least, the new operator from Belgium with a cool hairstyle and cloaker mask sends. Alright. <clears throat> Sends the you know, the new season has been out for like what two weeks now, and finally the new operator is purchasable to renown, and I've been saving up a lot of renown to be able to buy them. So let's do this. Let's do this. Trying them out for the first time, I learned that rushing in and planting behind the wall of light that your waffle wheel throws is most definitely not a good idea. Especially if the enemy team thought ahead and brought Warden now that he's no longer useless. Combine this with the fact that you're a dummy slow one speed and that your assault rifle is chambered in 9mm, the odds are definitely not stacked in your favor. Line it up! We have company! So in order to succeed with Sens, you have to get creative, as in Throw down the waffle wheel, shoot anyone who tries to peek you, hold down the trigger until the drum mag is empty, wash, rinse, repeat. It's bound to work at least some of the time. People really put too much faith in brute force.
So I'm getting good with sends, knowing when to throw the projector and all that. Some counters other than Warden include Jaeger's ADS, Aruni's laser gate, Mute's Wi-Fi routers, and anyone running up on you from behind. Don't worry, these militia aren't much of a threat. Sensor is online and active. Op 4 last operator standing. Or if you got your teammates with you, throw down the lights and catch the enemy lacking in 4K. Let's dance. You have located a bomb. I saw Mozzie just get down in the hallway. <laughs> so far, this season has been a blast to play. I would have recorded it sooner, but we all know how Twitch is when it comes to audio. You can't, you cannot include your audio. Yes, I thought. This is why I'm getting a capture card, so I can... Hopefully this solves my audio problem. But apart from that minor setback, that's about it for this video. By the time I upload this, I'm sure the season is already halfway done, but I still hope you enjoyed it. See y'all in the next one. Peace.